so what hello everybody and welcome back i am so excited for this video because in this video we are going to talk about netflix's foray into africa i have been selling art getting to the end of last year netflix announced that they had selected a couple of original stuff from africa and quinsono was one of them and quinsono scheduled to be released in february so just february 28th netflix released quinsono and i'm here to give my review about it before we start quinsono is six episodes so if you have time from like 8 a.m to 12 noon you are good to go by the time 12 noon hits you are done with the first season of quinsono and as of now i don't know if there are any plans to renew it for season two netflix hasn't made any announcement of that sort so up to now we still don't know the fate of quinsono i'll just say this before i even begin i'll say this quinsono is very beautifully shot like the people in Quinsono look very beautiful. It just strikes the right balance of like, oh, this is such beautiful African skin. So that's what I like about it. The colors are really great. It looks very beautiful. Now let me get into what Quinsono is actually about, like the plot. Let's break it down and see if it's worth your four hours of viewing pleasure. Quinsono follows a story of a secret South African clandestine agent who tackles criminal operations while dealing with crisis in her personal life. The titular character, that's Quinsono, is played by Pelthusi. Pelthusi was in Quantico, so if you were like me and you were following Quantico, which that's a story for another day, she was, I think, from the second and third season, she was in Quantico. Heading into Quinsono, I had no like expectations for it, I'm going to be honest, I didn't think too highly of it, I didn't think too lowly of it, I just went in like, okay, this is a show I heard about, and I'm going to watch it. And I actually enjoyed myself. I was very disappointed that it had just six episodes though. I felt like they could have made it like 10 episodes or eight episodes. But I feel like nowadays the standard is between eight and 13. So that's what I was expecting. But six episodes was great. However, even though it was six episodes, they, f they still found time to do like a filler episode. Like even without that episode, the story could have still been told. I like the action sequences in the show. This was done really well. Not as much as maybe if you're watching Salt or if you're watching Captain Marvel or if you're going to watch Black Widow, but it was done great. I mean, it shows that there's more room for improvement. It shows that, you know, given like the next couple of years, we'd have like really great action sequences in our movies and our television shows. So I look forward to that. Making Ekaterina Gromova the main villain. It, I mean, it wasn't a bad villain choice, but it could have been way better if it was Nana. She decides to seek revenge. So that's like her whole reason for coming to Africa is that she decides to seek revenge. And also the fact that she's a woman, her father didn't want her to be in charge of the company, even though, surprise, surprise, she's better equipped to lead the company. In my opinion, she wasn't that good of a villain. Who I thought would have been a better villain is Nana, who used to work with Queen Sono's mother, because Queen Sono's mother was like a freedom fighter, fighting against the apartheid system, Safiya Sono, who was assassinated. And this is, an, so it's like they were all comrades in the fight for independence. And Nana was like her close friend. And of course the story, we realize that Nana has presidential aspirations. And so it seems like she'll do, she's a sort of person that will like be behind the scenes, but will do everything to become a president, you know? And I felt like that was like a story or that was like a villain worth exploring. You know, the villain that comes out, she's the nice person. She's the, oh, we are here for you, you know, South Africans, comrades. I felt like she should have been like the main villain. And then at the end of the season, would have seen like she had a huge mastermind. Interesting thing they, they played with was terrorist organizations in Africa. So you know, Boko Haram, Al Shabaab, and then there's this new terror group called Watu Wema, which is led by Shandu, who I said was part of the secret organization but got disillusioned. And right now he's like, the government and all these people are against us, but follow us because we will liberate you. You know, those kind of people. So with him, you kind of see an ideological tension between him and his immediate, like his right hand man and his other followers because they feel like we are in this fight to liberate. A fellow African people but he wants us to kill a couple of African people just to see that dream realized and you realize that sometimes people do a lot of things for the greater good it's like would you kill one person to save a thousand or you save one person and let a thousand die I know that's not like a great great analogy but that's kind of what it feels like you know but all in all season one of Queen Sono was good and I remember when I posted about it, someone told me that it reminded him of like a normal South African detective show. 
and I don't follow South African TV and so I think that's the great thing that Netflix and all these streaming things are going to do moving forward is that we are going to be exposed to so many different cultures because of telenovelas and African things people know a lot about like Mexican soaps Indian soaps Filipino soaps and all those things and I feel like now Netflix you're going to go wider into different cultures you know so now I, I now know how maybe a typical South African detective show looks like. I'll be looking forward to seeing different stuff from that. Maybe we'd get something from Nigeria because we've just seen that Netflix has announced their Nigerian office. So I'm sure we are going to get an original from Nigeria very soon. Hopefully we get one in Ghana. But for me now, it's just exciting to see like the possibilities. And I think that's what Quinsono represents above all else. Quinsono represents the possibilities of telling an African story by an African for Africans. So that's all I got from Quinsono. I'm not, I'm not going to like drag it, drag it, because I mean, honestly, if you, if you don't have expectations for things, you don't, you're not disappointed. That's my pers that moving forward, that's in my personal philosophy in life. The one thing I noticed about Quinsono though is that there was little to no promotion for it. And I don't know if it's because of the people in my social circles, but I do follow a lot of like movie TV review stuff. And it feels like for Queen Suno, there was zero like buzz about it, which maybe Netflix was doing like its own buzz somewhere, which is, and if I didn't see that, that's also weird because I know for a lot of Netflix shows, Netflix like does a lot of marketing. We've seen it with you, we've seen it with Stranger Things, House of Cards, we've seen it with a lot of stuff. So if they're going to do a first African original scripted show, I would think that they would, the marketing would be insane for it because they are establishing your presence in Africa. Maybe it's just me being extra or me trying to, you know, do pain holes and stuff. But that's just my thing because even when I told someone that, oh, do you know Queen Sono is out there? Like, wait, what's that? I was like, wait, you don't know what Queen Sono is? Like, no. So that was like, marketing gone wrong. Did you enjoy Queen Sono? Do you think that it could have been better? If we are saying things could have been better, of course, everything can be better. But do you think that for a first attempt by Netflix, it was such a great attempt? Or you think that Netflix dropped the ball on this one? So let me know what your thoughts on Queen Sono are. Did you enjoy? Did you not enjoy? Do you think that it could have been better or not? My name is Ifala. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you on my next video.